Welcome, fellow degenerates, to the Degenerate Gambling Show. I am your host, DJ Mitchell, DJ Enerith. For this new thing that I'm starting, it's just going to be a very fun, light, easy, 10, 15 minute super digestible content that you can go for a stroll, do your dishes. And I'm just going to ramble by myself for now uh, about anything I really want to in the daily fantasy or betting space, mainly going to focus on the gambling, uh, just the betting side of things. And it's just going to be, again, very silly and, and fun and just entertaining. It's not going to be a lot of teaching, you know, maybe down the line, I could get into some of that more, but I want to primarily focus on just an entertaining product about sports betting, about gambling as the shifts continue to happen. I mean, we're really in coy and infancy within what sports betting may become down the line. And I just thought let's throw something out there that maybe some people will enjoy just checking out every week, just hitting subscribe, liking it, putting it out there. You can share it if you want. I really don't care. And I'm just going to talk about stuff I'm interested in. So again, be very light, very easy. I'm not going to get into, you know, anything that I would conceive of, you know, hurting other people, unless if I think that they're actively hurting people in a community. So again, if I call out any person, it's, I will, make sure a it's not for any of the wrong reasons um i don't want it to be controversial in any capacity but i you know if someone i think is a scammer or a fraud or doing something that is malicious and, and someone brings it to my attention i'd be happy to talk about it now anyone that i do call out whether it be positive or negative is always gonna have an open invitation to come on and discuss as a future episode i will bring them on and we can just have a 10 minute conversation where they could further explain go back and say that i'm an idiot or an asshole i don't really care and that's kind of going to be how it is. So again, very basic stuff. First two minute intro here on it. Um, and it's wide open in the future. I'm really not committed to much of anything. The one thing that I am going to be doing and one reoccurring bit that I'm going to have is I'm going to pull different advertisements that I find different, uh, you know, but I, again, I'm, I'm going to say scammy things, but, but things I find that are just funny. Some of them I see and that I never can find again because they must break terms and services of Instagram or Twitter or whatever. But uh, I found some and I'm going to go through a few of them today and just kind of just, again, show you what this is a little bit going to be about. Have some fun, right? I, I think a lot of this gambling stuff gets really serious. And it is because, you know, at the end of the day, I'm saying that I'm using statistics, modeling, et cetera, puck luck and other data to give betting advice. And, um, yeah, I, I mean, again, I do it a little bit differently than most people. I don't really believe in some certain things, and I'll get into that. You know, I'm going to kind of explain myself a, a bit more as we go on and explain why I don't do it exactly the same with other people. I'm not saying anyone's wrong, and, and I'm not going to come out and say that you can't do some of this stuff. It's just not how I operate, and, and you'll kind of see why um, throughout a lot of the stuff that I end up getting to. So uh, we're going to start with – oh, boy. Good start. I'll just go with this one. Um, so again, a lot of these <laughs> advertisements uh, that I get targeted to me are just very funny. Now, I don't know who Deadbolt L Deadbolt's LLC is, but again, you see a lot of these online where it's just is allegedly up over 100K in the past few months of his sports locks. What I love about these is just, it's always just cash, just a bunch of cash on a table I love the word allegedly. That makes me laugh so hard. Just completely nothing to it. This guy popped up a lot. He wasn't the most frequent flyer. We're going to get to the biggest frequent flyer of, of ones that I've seen. But this guy did pop up a lot with just a bunch of garbage. And never once in any of them was there any receipts, which is a common thread. Now, I'm not saying you have to have receipts. Like, people can do whatever they want. And I honestly think that a lot of the space gets very hairy with that, where um, – you know, people are posting these bets and they're saying specific units and whatnot. Uh, but you never really know until you, you know, you know, and um, I find a lot of this very funny. Of course, this is an advertisement for signing up for his picks. The next one is this guy who kept coming up and it was just all the same stock images, basically of him holding nothing clearly. And then they put this in his hands and this one made me laugh the most. And honestly, the reason I grabbed it was to like share in different groups with some buddies from home and stuff. When of course, you know, I think one of the best parts about sports gambling is making that, you know, five leg parlay with four of your friends coming over, you know, just having fun and and doing it for twenty dollars, right? And and everyone being involved. So of course, you know, have your friends from home that all want to gamble and just all put in one leg. 
And so I, I got this so I could post that in there. Bookies don't like these bets because they will lose money. I thought that was really funny. Just definitely, if you want this image, take it and spend it to your buddies when you send a bet. Just be like, oh man. And this guy's face just cracked me up. So uh, of course he, this guy, I think it was mainly like soccer or whatever. I don't really care, but it's just a bunch of nothing. Just, it was so funny. It was just like four images of him. I, I would have paid to be at this photo shoot. I, I was actually like, it's just perfect. It just this turtleneck dweeb. I, I could not have loved it anymore. The next one was this. Um, the reason this made me laugh so hard. <laughs> so there's no hand handicapper in the world good enough besides me to charge 50 100 200 a day for picks i'm sick and tired of seeing this crap and i only charge 25 dollars a day i don't know why it's so funny to me because like you're basically like no one should do this and i only charge half of the least amount i should charge just the like how do people like look read this and be like that's a really good point i could be paying more money for nothing like again I get it. Maybe your unit size is $10,000. I'm not going to argue with anyone. And again, I don't really like working in units as I've already mentioned that I can get into more, but this is just funny to me. Like you, if you are again, like try to conceptualize burning again, $25 is my main unit, just burning a unit up front to start your day to, to tell someone that I don't know. I don't know sports bet expert or sports ex that expert too, but I have to assume you're getting nothing but picks. That's it. They're handing you picks and you're betting them. You get nothing else. There's no other tool. There's no other. I just don't understand why you would do that. Now I'm not going to argue. And there's people on here that may be listening that they pay for picks or maybe they offer a pay for pick service. And I'm not going to argue a completely against it. I don't don't like doing it. I don't want to do it. And I will get into that on probably future episodes because I'm going to run out of topics pretty quick. So I'll save that one. But this made me, I mean, again, just hilarious. Like, like imagine reading this. Now, this guy is Sean Perry. He is going to be the next four images. I I got to say this guy is my favorite by a substantial margin. Um, So we're going to go through. I don't know, no jumper, but seems like they're promoting scams. World's Best sports better. Now that was the common thread here. Is everything? It was all of it. It's world's best sports better for everything he's done. The guy's the best in the world. Never heard of him. The best. Sean Perry puts three hundred fifty thousand dollars on today's NFL games. Now he looks to me like he's holding in a fart on a Lambo. I don't know who this guy is. I looked a little bit into it. It sounded like he came from poker, and I don't know if he was good or bad, but. I guess he has at least some access to money in any capacity. I don't really care. Um, he's welcome to come on. Like I said, I think he's an asshole. I would definitely say that to his face if he wants to come on. Doesn't bother me any. $350,000 on game. Like, why would that make you want to tail someone? Like I, like, I guess, again, they're putting up their money, potentially, allegedly, without any access because he's just sitting on a car with cash. That doesn't actually show you're putting any of that. Like you haven't given it to anyone. You're just holding it. But again, so next professional sports better. Sean Perry has won his last five screw bets totaling in over eight figures in payouts with an image of him that I could only describe as not great looking. Um, just a really, again, just weird image of him playing poker. I, I Again, I think he's a poker guy that got into some money. Wasn't all that good. He got caught up too far and has just completely gone to scamming. Total Vegas Dave. This image just is so bad that I just am like, how did you put this out there? Um, next, we see professional sports better Sean Perry loses 1.1 million on Super Bowl. But don't worry, because he wins 3 million the following week with a record of 14 and 4. Now, I did a little, just again, looking, and I'm going to get to the last part. Uh, I'm not going to, I asked this guy about. I could use his Twitter and he didn't answer. So I just, you know, I'm, I'm not going to include the guy in this, but someone actually looked into this and that, that, I don't know. I think they subscribed as like to get information to make sure they could like see. And again, they're just tallying up all of his bets and saying his record online publicly. And someone pointed out that to win that amount of money on these, which were college basketball bets, he would have had to have had like more money than almost any sports book would allow you to bet for college basketball. So like, again, I already don't trust this guy. He's a total scammer. I don't even think he's in this image. Um, and probably all of them are Photoshop, but dude, like unbelievable guy puts this whole marketing campaign out there, obviously about being 
unbeatable on the Super Bowl. Just cannot lose. I found out that the bet was just San Francisco money line. He put 1.1 million on and just, I won it back. Now I did see that that record is, was accurate at the time. Um, but again, this guy, again, like it, this, it's like, again, there's always a kernel of truth with some of these people. Uh, it's, uh, you know, just this guy pro refuses to split $9.2 million pot with other 12 players agree. I think that this guy was like in to this, you know, into poker. I don't know. And people that know poker, I don't know poker. So you might know him and he may be actually really good. I think that this guy got in over his head. I think that he was getting he, too full of himself. And obviously, like I said, everything that popped up was Sean Perry, world's best sports better. I think he started making some crazy, crazy bets thinking he was the best, the best to ever do it and just absolutely got crushed. He somehow still has access to money in whatever capacity. And he is just scamming people as much as possible before they catch on. Um, so yeah, I mean, I was just, it's just so funny to me for, for so many reasons, because you're, you're not offering anything. You're just telling people they're going to win money. Why would they believe you? I, I don't get it. Now, again, I'm not saying that there's anything, and there are people out there that do successfully win money over time, but this guy just isn't one of them. Again, this is from this page. Uh, I, again, I asked the guy. I wasn't going to wait around. I wasn't going to put him on here without his approval. Just, I don't know. I mean, it doesn't even really him, but it just felt like it was the right thing to do to ask. But just tracking for February, and he was starting for March, and it was just pretty rough out there. Uh, just 43% of straight bets hitting, and he, that guy was saying that, like, tracking the amounts, I mean, it was just, it was pretty bad on um, most of this stuff. like. Not, none of this was really doing very well at all. And I don't even think this was all of it. Again, I didn't want to get into too much detail, but there are people tracking these people. And I do want to thank them because you should hold people accountable if they're you know, asking for money. Um, you know, I don't, I'm not, again, I'm not going to sit here and make this a show about me tuning my own horn. It doesn't really need to be that. Um, but if someone is going to be asking for your money up front to tail their bets, they better be delivering. And again, I think that eventually that stuff's going to go away. I never got into it for some of that reason, not all of it. It's not the only reason why I didn't do it. Um, I don't really want people to be relying on me every day. I want to have a life. Like I'm going to go on vacation and I'm not going to be available. And if you paid me, I need to be. So yeah, this is, you know, a, a part of it. Right. But yeah, that's going to be the first episode. Just again, going to be goofy like this. I'm going to be doing a lot of just me ranting uh, about stuff much more of it will be more concrete topics, uh, stories. There's some stuff from the past that I might dredge up that I kind of want to talk about. There's legislation and, and different things that are happening, states that are entering into the market. Um, maybe I'll touch on a little bit of that stuff, maybe. But again, I don't really want it to be that serious. I don't really want it to be you know, boring. I just want to make people laugh for a little while about this stuff. And I have more of those that I found. I, I mean, the one that I could not find and I swear on my life, there was an ad that just said that a guy went to a click is like guy goes to club, spends one hundred thousand dollars to make ex girlfriend jealous after tailing someone's bets. And I looked everywhere for it. So I'm gonna try to bring those to the table every week. Just again, let's just laugh and have a good time and bet. I'm gonna continue to do the betting content. Um, I'm gonna add more to the mix. And again, you know, all of this is gonna be just using a lot of puck luck projections. I'll, I'll pop them up here again for the bets that are going to come through. So, you know, if you want to sign up for puck luck, I'm going to be bringing them up a lot. Of course, this is going to bring in a lot of people because I'm not maybe people are going to watch this first one. And again, I will revisit the first one a year down the line. And hopefully we are just looking way different, way better. Just wanted to get something out there, get this started, get things moving, get ideas. So the last minute of this, I want to keep this under 15. Send me all your ideas, comment, and then, or even if you don't want to comment, just DM me. I really don't care. Uh, if you've never DM me before, I answer everyone. Some people DM me all the time. I love talking to you guys. It's no problem at all. Um, but share it if you want, like it, subscribe, do it, all that, all that nonsense. Just again, I want ideas. You know, if you have anything too, if you're like, you know, I've really wanted someone to look into this, let me look into it. Let me talk about it. Let me riff. So again, that's the show. That's what we're going to be doing here. Just having fun talking about degenerate stuff, um, degenerate people, degenerate behavior and being degenerates. And I hope that's kind of, again, a safe, fun, good community we can build here. Just talking about stuff that we're interested in and learning about it along the way. So let's have a good night.
Let's win some money, and I will be back with you very soon uh, for at least weekly uploads for now.